Hello, Knife Community. It's a great day. Folder here. I'm displaying my Demco collection. So, yeah. Um, as of right now, this is everything I have Demco. And obviously, I'm a Demco uh, lunatic, obviously. And um, I would like to get the uh, AD22. I would like to get one of those eventually. But as of right now, I have an AD20, the 20.5s, and the um, the 15, uh, the Cold Steel 15. So yeah, this is, um, I'm very proud of these knives. I, I like the shock lock. Uh, when I first got the 20.5s, it was almost like just getting them to sort of like settle because I didn't have a 20 at the time. Uh, and then now I realize they're they're just they're amazing in their own right. I mean they're much smaller and much thinner, uh, and rightfully so, they're supposed to be. And um, but but they're they're excellent. I love the AD twenty point five. I really do. Uh, so down the line, this uh, this knife I got the Shark's Tooth uh, original goat OG scales on this one. This started out Grivery. It's 20 CV. Um, you know, it was like impossible getting the titanium at the time, so I just waited for OG because I knew they were coming out with something really nice. And um, I think they eclipsed the factory. You know, the, it's studless and it's it's nice. This is uh, Shark's Tooth Fresh. Um, really nice. 20 CV steel. And. Um, I got the backspacer on this and I, I polished out my uh, shark lock a little bit there. So yeah, absolutely love this knife. Um, I've actually displayed it in my favorite knives. Uh, I like them so much I named them. Well, just these two I named. You know, I know that sounds a little crazy, but I, you know, I like knives a lot, obviously. This uh, is AD 20.5. This started out black grivery. Um, so it's basically plastic scales. I got the uh, uh, carbon fiber, and I actually put the uh, I actually put the backspacer back on. I actually prefer backspacers on on Demco AD twenties twenties and twenty point fives. You know uh, the the barrel um, standoffs like I have on this one. Yeah, they look good. They look good too. I mean, it's just a preference, obviously. But I, there's something about a backspacer on this shape knife that I that I really like. So I actually put I actually have the standoffs for this knife, but I put the Grivery backspacer back on. I just like the way it looks. It just uh, it suits me. But I love this carbon fiber. It's really good. Black DLC blade. You know it's Aus 10, so it's you know nothing to write home about. But you know it's good steel. It's um you know in the future I'm definitely gonna either look for a reblade or uh, or uh, if I get the AD22 I won't settle for uh, budget steel. I'll only settle for the absolute best steel. This I got recently, it's white grivery, obviously black and white, ebony and ivory, shark's tooth, uh, shark's foot, excuse me, uh, Aus 10. You know, I like the grivery on this. I think it's excellent. I like the way it feels. I mean, it's not, well, it's locked up like a bank vault, but, you know, it doesn't have the, the, the actual feel of titanium, obviously, the premium seal of titanium, but it has its place. You know, you're wearing shorts. Or you're wearing you know, dress pants, and and these things are really light. Uh, they're excellent, you know. And then, you know, I'm a big fan of the shock lock, obviously. And um, this is my first knife, uh, Warncliffe. Well, no, I actually have other Warncliffe, but my first Warncliffe in this series. And uh, you know, they're notorious for excellent utility cuts. Uh, I was cutting out foam recently. I used it. Uh, for one of my new cases, uh, Pelicans, for firearms, so it's it's really good. Uh, and I actually want to get another case for for knives if I ever have to transport them. Cold steel, obviously AD twenty, AD fifteen light. I got the light because uh, I mean I know the steel's not as good as the um, the other one. I think the other one was S uh, S thirty five VN for the regular one, regular one. And I got the light one. The reason why I got light. Was because the um, the scales on the uh, regular AD15, they they were so abrasive. 
they were just I, I found that getting the light it, I liked the way the scales felt better and I think at the time the, the regular one was only coming in like a, a greenish color like it was green I wanted the black one so yeah I mean you know listen it's it's uh it's OS 10 also it's a budget steel uh but you know listen what are we what are we using it for you know it's really more or less for the Demco collection this scorpion lock is excellent it's really really good it's not uh quite as fidgety as the shark lock but you know Demco's locks are, are incredible this this is an amazing invention I mean the way this thing uh the way the pin goes down in the groove uh of, of the tang on the on the knife is <laughs> yeah that guy is really smart when it comes to knives so yeah really 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 nice uh this also started out grivery I got these two at the same well no I got this first and I got this next they both were black grivery I knew that uh I was just getting them uh and I knew I was going to change the scales this is also OG original goat scales I also love this knife this is actually my favorite 20.5 um even though it's in the budget steel uh I like I like the um I like the scales I like the the fit and finish I like the way they, they feel the way they look uh you know and it does make it a little wider I mean like I, I said in one of my other videos that the one of the complaints about the 20.5 is it's very narrow you know narrow is good and narrow is bad you know so but uh yeah but these this uh this titanium is is really nice and then this came out as the uh the um the titanium from the factory you know and uh you notice it has the big pivot bolt as opposed to the the smaller ones on the other one so the first one that came out uh titanium it also has a chafed edge it also is a little bit narrower it doesn't have liners you know this has liners this doesn't you know so uh yeah this is nice and it's also in 3v you know that uh yeah it's in 3v steel so that that actually um the pre it's actually you know premium steel over os 10 obviously so it's it's nice you know and this has the uh the standoffs you know instead of the backspacer and it still has the lanyard hole so it's nice you know um this knife is a user for me i, I really use this knife you know i i'll cut anything with it it's 3v so um this isn't something i'm babying at all i'll i'll, I'll cut with this and then this was my uh my show special uh that was in carbon fiber uh i admit it i i couldn't do it i couldn't do it so the story is this was the demco uh show special with the three directional grind the, the special uh, machine grind from the demcos from one of their shot uh, shows in from new york it was carbon fiber uh i just got the og scales for this this was my original choice for um the ogs and i ended up getting this because it's, it's the shark's tooth so shark lock shark tooth i ended up getting it uh and then i uh i think og should show these knives show these scales with a with the blade in it gives you a better perspective of how it looks and and give a, a view from the back so you get a really nice view of the back spacer and how the knife looks uh there are a couple of um youtubers that actually had this before me and i saw it on their knives and it looked amazing so i applaud everyone that had, that went out and, and, and oh gosh really Went out and got the OG scales um, for this. So this is actually my, um, I mean, I love both of these, you know, the same, I mean, honestly, but I just, there's something about the pattern on this that's just absolutely incredible. And of course, this is my crew wear um, show special knife. Crew wear is my absolute favorite steel, uh, being a tough tool steel and, you know, having all the properties that it has, you know, uh, because I don't have any Magna Cut uh, yet, um, I have to, I like crew wear. So Magna Cut, I'm sure in the future when it becomes more abundant, I'll get some Magna Cut. Uh, it's just hard to get things in Magna Cut today. Um, well, things I like, I haven't seen anything in Magna Cut yet. So um, you have to go to, uh, so if there's anybody listening to my video and they have, uh, 
they want to do a reblade for me, I'll be glad to, to pick it up. But, um, anyway, yeah, so this is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty much done with these. You know, um, I'm done. You know, uh, like I said, if I do anything else Demco, it'll be the AD22, which I don't, I'm not familiar with yet, but I, I, from what I understand, it's somewhere in between these two sizes, you know, between the small one and the big one. It's somewhere right in between. Uh, I'm not a big, um, I don't have any slim, you know, the AD20 slim. I don't own any slims. You know, uh, not that I'm against them or anything. I just, I like the full size one and I can see the, the benefit of having the smaller one. So the slims just haven't grabbed me yet. So anyway, that's it. Uh, yeah, just wanted to put out a quick video because I, um, you know, I mean, even though I think Spyderco might actually be my favorite manufacturer, uh, my favorite knives, um, individual knives are Demco. Definitely. The 8020 is my favorite knife. I mean, I've said it uh, numerous times. It's my absolute number one favorite knife. This knife, you know, uh, it's just, um, yeah, they're incredible. I really like them. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got today. All right. Take care.